We've got new releases, plus Memorial Day is coming up, so we've got a pick of the week related to that, all of that, and more coming up right now on Christian Cinema Weekly. Good morning, or afternoon, or night, or whatever time it is that you're watching this. That's the beauty, of course, of living in a time with on-demand content, where you can just pull up a video online and watch it whenever you want, as many times as you want. You could watch this a ton of times, if you like. I highly recommend it. And speaking of on-demand content, let me tell you about some new content available for you to watch, of course, at ChristianCinema.com. First up, we've got Genesis, Paradise Lost. Genesis, the very first book of the Bible, has been suggested by some outside and even some people inside the church that it's purely metaphorical. But this documentary revisits and reinforces the literal view of the book of Genesis. In a culture steeped with secular theories of how we all got here, sometimes you find yourself wondering how much do we really know about the creationist perspective? How much evidence is there to support this long-held belief? Well, Genesis Paradise Lost features interviews with academics paired with stunning 3D graphics that lays out a thought-provoking presentation of exact Exactly that. It's definitely worth a watch. Next up, we've got WWJD2, The Woodcarver. Now, I'm not gonna pretend that WWJD1 was a box office smash or that I even knew that it was a real movie. I know about a lot of movies, but the original one came out in 2010 and I guess I missed it. But that's okay because this one really does stand on its own. See, if you thought that WWJD, What Would Jesus Do, was just some bracelets that were popular in the 90s, then well, Think again. Inspired by the original 1896 book In His Steps, this movie tells the story of a curmudgeon old woodcarver and a troublemaking teen. Not really the likeliest of pairs, but when the teen vandalizes a local church, his punishment is to help the woodcarver fix the damages. As they work together, both of them find themselves repairing more than just a building. It's a good-natured family drama about redemption and love. And the final new release I have for you this week is called Jesus Dead and Buried? Look, this might blow your mind, but the fact is, not everybody is a Christian. Look, chances are you probably have some people in your own life who believe differently than you do. Perhaps you find yourself having frustrated discussions with them on Facebook. Well, those conversations can often get out of control really quick. They can get heated. You can find yourself saying things to people that you care about that you didn't even mean to say. But I know deep down, you simply want to share with them the good news of the gospel that has changed your own life. And that's exactly what I like about this documentary. Join Luke Waldock on his journey to Jerusalem as he investigates the evidence of the gospel narrative. It's a great discussion starter to watch with people in your life, whether they share your faith or not. It's a very interesting interesting exploration that everyone can enjoy. All right, now it is time for, of course, the pick of the week. And this week, because Memorial Day is coming up, we've picked a movie called The Unknowns. We should never forget Memorial Day isn't just a day off work, but it's a day to honor those who have given their lives in the service of their country. We obviously should enjoy the barbecues and the parades and the celebrations, but we should also remember why we have those freedoms in the first place. And that's why this week's pick of the week is The Unknowns, a documentary about the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and the grueling training of the tomb guards. It's full of interesting facts that you might not know. And it'll definitely give you a new appreciation for those mysterious guards at Arlington National Cemetery. Hey, do you have a Memorial Day tradition? Let me know about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your stories. And if you want to check out any of these movies, then you can do so at ChristianCinema.com. And if you do, let me know what you think about them or if there's a movie that you would suggest. Well, that's all I've got to say for today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest news surrounding faith and film. I'm Kevin. Have a great week.